Alright, propellers. Since the fin tool has become more and more popular, people are wanting to power things with propellers. The fin tool is as follows. You can take a flat panel or hell a book or a guitar. And if you apply a fin to it, you can make it, well, it's a fin. It acts as if it was a wing of a plane or a, isn't that cool? I've actually never tried that before. I approve of guitar fins. Okay. Now, the reason I'm starting this, this tutorial is because I want to make propellers like this. Something that seems a little bit too hard to do with stack or anything else. So I'm going to show you how I made these real quick. What you've got to do is, you've got to choose a central hub, a wheel, whatever you want. And it doesn't have to be exactly like mine. Yeah. And you want to get a panel. And you got to hold the panel up, freeze in place, and access your wheel to it. I would suggest always increasing the weight of the props you're using, so... Yeah, even a thousand. You can always lower it later. It's much harder to make something heavier after you've done work to it. So there you go. Let's make a an eight fin propeller on this. Now we gotta find what we want to use for that. Want to use standard Phoenix panel, something like this, because it's gonna have to look like that. Have eight of those go around in a circle. Be a pretty interesting propeller, I think. All right, let's do it. Now, you can take out stacker and attempt some sort of. You, you could play with these settings for three, four, I don't know, maybe five days, and actually try to get the propeller built. Now, I've built many a propeller like that, but. As far as speed is concerned, if you want to do it really quickly and as precise as you can, this is what you do. You line up the fin where you where you would want it to be, right there. Move it up slightly. Make sure it's snapped to 45. Actually, you don't even have to snap it to 45 degrees. It could be whatever angle you want. But move it above where you'd actually want to put it on the prop. So there's the center line of the prop. I could stop moving. So we would want the propeller lower, somewhere here. So now we're going to take stack out again. We're going to stack once with no weld. Probably down. Yeah, we're going to stack down. Alright. So now we have two of those props, but the bottom one is not attached to anything. If I touch it, she falls to the ground. Now what we're going to do is, we're going to stack it. We're going to weld it. And we're going to let it go. And then I'm going to lock that at, at 45 degrees, because this is a lock at 90s and 45s. So let's rotate it back up. That's 45 degrees. And look, we still have, we're still ready to go for the next one. Stacker. Weld and let go. I wish we could switch between tool guns. Stacker. Weld. Let go. And we'll continue this until we get to the end. Stacker. And we're done. Now we can remove the original spawner and take a good look at our new gigantic propeller. And now, what we're going to do is fin this with, I don't know, 75 sounds good, and we count off. One, 
two, three, four. And we did eight. So there's eight. So there's your new propeller, and it actually will function. You can do that with any prop. And fin works as follows. The surface you fire it upon becomes the fin. If I load something, say that's that piece again, and I fire on the side here, and then pick it up and drop it, it's going to fall straight down because I fired it on the edge. So when you fire at these, make sure you fire on the flat surface. And that will power something through the water, by the way, if you put a, uh, probably a wired wheel to it, be the easiest electric motor. Hell, full-blown engine will work. This is Zeo's Pantera, and I build cool shit.